Oh, hello there. You're finally awake. Uh, I'm sorry. You can't see with that blindfold on your eyes. Um, let me take it off first. And could you please stop struggling? I don't want you to get hurt. The rope isn't too tight. I don't want to leave mark on your wrist. Thank you, my dear. There you go. Wow, what a beautiful eyes. I mean, <clears throat> um, let's skip that. Well, you probably might be wondering who I am, where we are, and blah blah blah. Let me explain to you from A to Z. Uh, we are in my house. Don't worry about my parents because I live alone. You might not remember who I am, but I've known you since we were 10. We were in the same school, we lived in the same neighborhood, and one day you moved out. But God had a plan for both of us. We met again as co-workers. At first, when I heard that there will be a new person in our department, I was totally not interested. But when I knew it was you, I thought I was the luckiest person in the world. Oh, you actually know me. Oh my, I'm being noticed. This is so amazing. He knows me. <laughs> Let's get back to where we were. Yeah, so ever since that day, my love for you has been growing more and more each and every day. Which part don't you understand? What did you do that made me fall for you? <laughs> Silly. We don't need reasons to fall for someone, right? Well, maybe we do. Actually, there's a lot more reasons that made me want you all to myself. One of them is that you made me feel alive. To be honest, I have never truly liked how I live. I don't enjoy my life. I have always felt like ending it early more times than not. But it changed when I'm around you. I see colors. All of the colors that I needed to see to bring me back to life. You are the light that has been missing in my life. You are the sole purpose that I could continue my life right now. And... I know you might not remember this, but I was bullied back in middle school. You saved me from the girl who always made fun of me in front of everyone else. I will never forget the day you saved me from her when she tried to cut my hair in class. Ever since that day, I felt something building up inside of me. I couldn't help myself but follow you everywhere you go. I got excited. The day I found out we lived in the same neighborhood, and even more, when we were in the same class in high school. You can't even imagine how happy I was to be so close to you. I tried to talk to you once, but I never had a chance. You were always so popular with everyone, always surrounded. All I could do was watch you from the distance and hope that one day, I could have you all to myself. Seeing you surrounded by those rats made me feel anxious, angry, so much that I wished I could just burn everyone with the rage that's burning me up inside me. But I don't have to worry about that anymore because right now you're here with me. And only me. <sighs> I still can't believe that you're actually here with me. I can't believe I actually get the chance to talk to you in person. If this was a dream, then I hope I never wake up from it. I never want to live this dream. Please, please don't wake me up from this wonderful dream. Hmm? Why I kidnap you? <laughs> no, silly. Correction, I didn't kidnap you. I just brought you to my house. 
You said you were a little like Hadev at a party. Oh, you don't remember the party? We were celebrating you as a new member of our team, silly. That's all that is. But it's really my fault since you drank something I made. Well, I only did it to save you from those rats. They are not good for you. I'm the only person who you should be with. You are too perfect. Perfect for me. I'm the only one who can have you. I won't even allow them to lay their eyes on you. No, nobody can have you except me. We belong together. Only you and me. Oh, and you don't even have to worry about working anymore. I promise. I'll take good care of you from top to bottom. I'll fill all your needs, and I mean all your needs. <laughs> all you need to do is stay right here by my side. But there's one thing that I'm worried about. They might notice that we went missing all of a sudden. Hmm, maybe I should fake our death. That way, we don't ever have to worry about people coming for us anymore. That would be so great. I'll just need to find two bodies I can use as our decoys and just put some DNAs of ours. And if they found it, they'll think we're dead. I'll think about that later. What I need to do now is to look up a new home for us to live in. Somewhere no one will know where we are. Somewhere for only the two of us. I'm getting so excited at the thought of having you all to myself and no one else can bother us. We'll live a happy life together. I'll make sure that you'll be happy with me. But if you're not happy with me, then I don't know what might happen. Maybe I'll force you to be happy with me? I'd gladly do that. <laughs> I can't wait to build a new and wonderful life with a beautiful person like you. The one and only person I love. I bet our children will look so cute. Just like you. <laughs> I can't wait to have them with you. <clears throat> uh, well, we can discuss the details later. No? How about you get some sleep while I set the things down for us? <laughs> mm, good night, sweetheart. Oh, before I go, don't you even think about trying to, well, you know, escape? <laughs> Because there's no way out. I love you. <laughs>